Hi, I'm John from White Cloud Workshop, and today David and I are going to do a van conversion from this to this. So I've always been interested in converting a van like this in the hopes of doing a big trip one day to Europe or South America. Now it's pretty common for backpackers to come here to New Zealand and convert a van for their travels around the country. So I jumped on a couple of uh, backpacker Facebook groups and I saw a message from David from the Czech Republic who I'd never met before saying he was coming to New Zealand in a few months and really needed some help with uh, customizing one of these vans. Both David and I had absolutely zero experience in this type of thing, never had done anything like it before, but we just got together, roughed out a plan, and figured it out as we went. So check it out. This is David's van that we've been working on for the past six weeks. It's finally finished. Let's check it out.
Hope you enjoyed that. Despite not actually being on camera too much, I did help out a lot at the beginning, but as David grew more confident, he sort of stepped it up a notch, ended up doing 14 hour days by the end, and he really did a great job, as you can see. The build took about six weeks of full-time work, although we did it a lot in the first couple of weeks, just sourcing supplies and materials, tools, stuff like that. If we did it again, we could probably do it in about half the time. The van's fully self-contained and David got it certified as well. It's got LEDs, insulation, a pull-out toilet, solar power, fresh water, everything but a shower. We use very few power tools in its construction, mainly just a power drill and a jigsaw, occasionally a miter saw. So after it was all done, David uh, was pretty broke by then, so he set off to the South Island, got a job straight away on a hop farm, that's in, as in beer hops, where he did uh, irrigation and maintenance. He did travel a bit with his girlfriend and his family when they came over, uh, but then when winter started to set in and it was getting pretty cold and he was missing his girlfriend, then he uh, set off for home. As far as living in the van, it was really cool to hear about his experiences. He said building, living in the van and travelling around was one of the best experiences of his life. He did however find it a bit claustrophobic living in the van, especially coming home at night after a hard day's work in the fields and having to live in this tiny little space. He found it pretty cold coming into winter despite the insulation, although he says a heater would have fixed that. If he did it again, he would have installed an extractor fan because he said any time he cooked, the steam just went everywhere, filled up the van in two seconds. The bed was a big pain in the ass to fold up and reset every morning, so he probably would have changed that too. Actually, he says he probably would have changed the whole thing if he did it again, it would have made it a lot more simple. As far as costs went, the van was about 6k New Zealand dollars, the, all the additions came to about 4k, and then uh, when he sold it at the end he made a small profit. Probably would have made more if he sold it at the start of the summer season. Would love to know what you guys think, and would actually love to hear from anyone who's used the van since, because it's been a couple of years since this was filmed. Anyway, that's all for now, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, if you did click like and subscribe and I'll see you for the next one. Hey everyone. Hey. <laughs>